what's happening guys so in this video we're going to talk about the constant mind games the spiritual warfare all this crazy kinds of stuff that we all have to face on a regular day basis with so many individuals and the first thing I want to present to you guys in this video for those of you guys that might be new here or have never seen this stuff yet it is the Irish CMOS capsules this will further better your life your quality of life your experience of life this cheap supplement alone alongside other supplements that's also on this website that I want you guys to check out in the link in the description box a whole lot of you have got this but not enough of you have got this and you must you must try this Irish CMOS because it's going to completely and utterly change your life if it doesn't if it does not further benefit your life in a very positive way and you there's not much you can notice you can unsubscribe from my channel you can call me a bad person you can do whatever you want because this shit works and I want you guys to take this for your mental because it works mental physical energy it's great when you take this the first thing you're gonna think and it's not expensive the first thing you're gonna think is damn there's something I was not getting this entire time like I knew it was possible to feel this good and this is how it feels that's exactly how I could describe it that's exactly how could I, how I could explain it so try that out now with these mind games bro that we all have to face the reason these happen to the chosen ones specifically we're not the only ones it happens to but it's going to happen to us more than anybody else because we are that smart we're that switched on we are that self-aware we are that comfortable in our own skin that these individuals feel the need to have the upper hand over, over you for literally no reason at all. They can't mend with you. They can't conversate with you. They can't listen to you. They just have to have the upper hand for literally no reason. And it's, 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 it's mind blowing why this has to happen but it's something that's always been happening and it's something that'll probably continue to happen throughout life and this is just something we all have to deal with and the reason it happens like i said is because you have unmatched character morals integrity and these individuals know that they are scared of that they want to do something to kind of take that away from you because you have more within than they have. They're not comfortable with coming around you like that. They're not comfortable with just allowing things to be, for things to flow because they know if they do that, the truth of who they are is gonna come out. They cannot face us head to head they have to lie to us. They have to manipulate us. They have to do little things, little shit. Because if they're to face us head on, if they are to answer what we say, as we will answer whatever they have to say, then it's a losing game because you know why? It becomes real. And that's what they don't do. They don't do real. All right. They play the game. They don't do real. They can't have things just be real. They can't have things on an even playing field. Because if they do, they feel they have lost. They feel powerless. And you know why you feel powerless? Because you have none. That's why you MFers play the game. Because you don't have power within. You have to play the game. 
You have to manipulate. You have to lie. You're attracted to somebody, but you don't show it. A person that could completely and utterly change your life is right in front of you. And you can't deal with it. So much so to the point where you might let that go just because of your own bride. Like, how stupid is that? This is the world we are in. And it would never be this way if it wasn't for social media. Because if they were to see you, they would do something about it because they might never see you again. They know it's social media. Ah, we can see this person every day if we want. We could talk to this person anytime if we want. So, how they think is, let the games begin. And like I said, people's playing each other left, right, and center today. It's not just us it happens to, but it happens to us more than anybody else. It's like, we can't have nothing real with nobody, bro. <laughs> with nobody. Especially the people we're probably supposed to mend with. It just has to be a game. It just has to be the most outlandish shit known to man. Like, that's just the way it seems like it has to be in their eyes. Because they're messed up. They don't have the character, the morals, the integrity. The honesty, the realness within themselves to actually just link with you, you know, whether it be friends, whether it be people in the opposite gender, whether it be family, people's going to try to mess with you, bro. People's going to try to play games with you. If I look back in my life, everyone tried messing with me 24 seven, and it's because I always had something that they never had. I have a spirit inside of me that these individuals have never had. And man, <laughs> when I left no stones unturned, that's when everything changed. That's when nobody's going to be around, bro, because nobody can mess with you. Because people try to mess with you at first. And some of them message you and succeed in doing so, but then you turn that corner and you come back and it's like, you ain't never doing that to me again. Now they don't even want to message you because they're going to lose. Because all they ever wanted to do was message you. They can't win with you, bro. They can't win with you because they're not winners themselves. That's why it's such a narrow path. People ain't going to be there. Most people in the world don't want what's real, what's right. They're living a stupid existence. That's the best way I could explain or describe it. They're living like a very dumb existence. Doing the dumbest things. Like, do you not want your own children to be proud of you? Do you not want things like that? Do you want to be them? That you want to be the parent that your own children grow up to resent, to be embarrassed of, or do you want your your children to look up to you? Because it's gonna be one or the other. That's what it's gonna be. I don't understand, man, how people can just throw their lives away and and do nothing or not become a, a human being of meaning and value. People like to get sloppy drunk. People like to do a bunch of drugs. People like to play these games. People like to pretend they, they have value when they have none. And when you talk to them about stuff like this, they sink. They sink because they know it's true and they have no value. You can't even talk with most people, bro. <laughs> you can't even talk with most people. Because they're deathly afraid 
of every bit of what I'm saying. They don't want the smoke. They don't want the pressure. They just want to be a meaningless schmuck that plays games, that does dumb things, that doesn't tell the truth, that's not honest, that's all over the place. How could you trust a human being like that? You can't, because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't know what moves they're going to pull on you next. You don't know what game they're going to pull next. The worst ones of all <clears throat> are the manipulators. And we've all been manipulated. They'll pretend they love you. They'll, they'll fake it so hard. They'll pretend so hard they're with you. They love you just to make you fall for them. All to just stab you in the back with a knife a million times over. Until you can barely breathe. Now that's the worst of all. And they're the worst off. <clears throat> it's just crazy how so many people can live such a dumb life, man. Like, for such a long time. Like, just... Wake up! And this is my whole point in other videos when I said if people just continue to play these games and continue their ways of living, they're never going to live at all. I personally like to do things that gets me up, that keeps me going, that keeps me alive, that reminds me how blessed we are to be alive. <laughs> Take an ice bath and get out. And, and let me know how thankful you are to be alive. Because that's what you will do. You hit that ice bath and it's like you feel very uncomfortable. You get out and it's like life is so good. Thank you, Jesus. And the whole rest of your day is so much better. That's how she goes, folks. That's how she goes. Do you think individuals that play these games can do anything like that? No. They're too paranoid to walk in a gym. They're too scared to look in the mirror. They're too scared of their own shower or their own shadow. Their own shadow. They're too scared of their own damn shadows, bro. Some of them even their damn shower. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's absolutely and utterly ridiculous. And these are the people we have today. And people wonder why we only want people closest to us that have a good head on their shoulders, that's successful to agree to a degree or is going to be successful. People wonder why we're picky like that. People wonder why we won't just hang out with anybody. Won't just hang out with the drunks on the weekends. People wonder why. You can't trust people like that. I've been in the mix with people like that before when I was younger. You can't trust them. You never know what they're going to do. What they're not going to do. You plan to do something, they back out. You never know what to expect. You, ex you would be more shocked if they ever did something right. That's how bad it gets with most people on earth. You'd be more surprised and shocked if they were to do something that was actually right for once in their lives. If they showed up on time. If they did something professional. If they choose the gym on the weekend over partying going out. It'd be shocking. Oh my God. Is that you? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. And most of the people on earth, it's just all a game. 
I've heard it from people before I even used to be friends with. Life is a party. And all that dumb shit. Life is just a party. Life's a party. No. <laughs> Life is not a party. If that's the way you think, good luck to you in life. <laughs> Your mental state is going to be terrible. You're going to do terrible things. You're going to make terrible choices. The state of a human being that you will be in by the time you're even 30 is going to be horrendous. The state I will be in, I'll still look like I'm pretty much 18 years old at the age of 30. With everything on point. In a much better headspace, physical space, financial space. But people don't think like that. They just think, where's the fun at right now? What can I do right now to just have fun? One, two, three, let's have fun. People don't want to put in the work. You know, it's Friday evening right now. You know what people are doing? Most people, they get the bottle of booze up to their lips. You know what I got? A bottle of Iceberg Natural Spring Water with pH 8.4 to my lips. And this shit is good. It keeps you refreshed. It hires your vibration. Bro, like I said, this stuff hires your vibration even more than this water does. You obviously need both, but this even more so. For the simple fact it has 92 out of 102 minerals in the whole thing, which your body needs, which is why when you even take two capsules, when you take the scoop of the peptides, your mind feels supersonic. The energy that you were never getting, the minerals your body was always missing, hits your stream. And you feel like you've had energy you've never had since you were a child. Like, remember that good energy you felt when you were a kid? That's how it feels. But people don't want to do what's right. People want to pick up the bottle of Iceberg Vodka. This is my bottle of Iceland water, but you know what they want to do? Pick up a quart of Iceberg Vodka. It's ironic because the very first thing, when I was a teenager, the very first alcohol I ever tried was actually iceberg vodka, and it was terrible. Terrible. That shit's horrible. It's like drinking mosquito spray. You ever get a little taste of mosquito spray? That shit's potent. That shit's gross. <clears throat> that shit's sour. But people love to do just what kills them all the time. And then come to people like us and play all these games is because they can't be a real human being and do real shit. <laughs> I don't mean to pick on women, I really don't, but it's just the truth, bro. Even these modern women, they're they're pretty bad today, bro. They might look a little bit pretty right now because they're at an age where they're supposed to look their most pretty. But man, that shit's gonna change. The way they take care of themselves, the things they do, <laughs> you might think they're smoke shows right now. They're not going to be for long unless they get a good head on their shoulders. They're all going to be hideous. I don't care if this comes off as mean. It's just the truth. <sighs> and majority of them are liars, bro. They're not working on themselves. 
they're not creating more value. They're not working hard. They're not working out. They're not being healthy. They're not making healthy choices. They're just complete degenerates. It's exactly what they are. And the only way they'll ever not be that is if they get a better head on their shoulders and start acting right. That's the only way they're ever going to remain attractive. Is if they do those things. Because if they keep following the ways of degeneracy, they're going to be hideous within three to six years. Hideous. I'm telling you full well, bro. I've seen it time and time again. There's girls I've dated in the past. Hideous now. I don't know if I'd say hideous, but not my type now. You used to be. No more. Not no more. They have downgraded significantly. You have risen significantly. You don't feel the same thing. How, how could you feel the same way? How could you feel the same way? You're not. You're not. So this is what I'm saying, bro. And even these younger modern day women, bro, they they pretend to just be the devil's the devil's lettuce. They they pretend to be this hot shit, and you know they might look good on the outside right now, but <laughs> ladies, you're absolutely a comedic joke on the inside. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but it's just the truth. You can't even maintain a conversation. You just act so cool and arrogant but you can't even talk because you're, you you know yourself you would completely and utterly embarrass yourself you ain't built like that and that's why you do those things you're not fooling me you're not fooling my closest friends either us that have conversations you're not fooling any single one of us we know what you is we know what you is that's what I'm saying, bro. That, that's why they're always going to play the most games with the chosen ones. Because they know deep inside we have it together. They know deep inside we is it. We is him. And that's why they do all that crazy shit. Because they know we have it. They, they can't be a normal person because they're not a normal person. They can't even operate. Like, bro... The world's gotten so bad to the point where we we are considered chosen ones. Like, people are not normal, bro. Like, what's considered the norm today is not even the norm. If you actually look at it, they're far below average in everything. In literally everything. So the norm... Which, that is considered the norm today, but they're not even normal. They're messed up. They can't even act like a regular person. They're gone. They're, they're faking it, bro. They're pretending. They're lying all the time. Anything they say, it's a lie. It's like... Any words, any things they say, it's just a lie. That's how it is today. Every single thing they do is a lie. Every conversation, every sequence, every back and forth engagement, it's just, it don't feel real. It's like, it's just not genuine. It's not leading anywhere. It's just not genuine. This even goes with, uh, I don't mean to pick on women, but it, it's a great example though, isn't it? Because it's the best example, because it, it just is. I mean, it is. They be playing the most. Don't even get at me. They be playing the most. Half the reason a lot of these guys is messed up is because of them. But they end up being messed up because they follow. They don't sit, they don't take steps back and be like, you know what? F this. This is a losing game altogether. I'm going to go my way. I'm going to do what's right. But instead they chase. Then they become messed up. You could never chase. 
you can see what's out there, you can see what you're working with, and then you know what? Whenever you know it's not right, you got to step back. You got to keep frame. But this is the current world, bro. <laughs> and they're always going to play games with the chosen ones the most than anybody else, and this is just the way it is. <clears throat> Any conversations you have with these people, any sequences, any anything. It just don't feel genuine or real. It's just a clown show. And it's the unfortunate reality of today. Even teachers are fake as hell, bro. You think they care about the students? You think they care about you? No. They be picking favorites, they be doing all that kind of stuff. Even I was a favorite of a couple teachers, but it's like it's just it's it's just, it's all fake, bro. It really is. School, the system, people, because people go through the system and they're not awake enough to realize what's what to get out. So Everything felt off, bro. Like, at first, things feel, you know what, this is what life is. When you're young, you're in school, nothing feels that weird, nothing feels that wrong or off. It's when you get to high school. For me, to about grade 11 and grade 12, things was like, you know what, <laughs> this ain't it. The closer I got to leaving school, the more I started to realize how screwed up it actually was, and most people. I look around at the couple friends I had left in high school after having so many, and I looked at them and I was like, I'm just, I, I hate everybody here, bro. This is crazy. Like, I just, this is all stupid. It's all fake. What is going on? This is all a clown show. And it goes to show growth, maturity, awareness, what's real. And the sad part is a lot of these individuals in school carry on in their 20s being this way. That's what I put a stop to when I was 18, 19 years old, bro. 18 specifically, but 19, like I was really on my path at that point. Like really strictly on my path at that point. <clears throat> and the littlest stuff now, bro, you can notice the littlest stuff. The littlest things. So when they play with you, it's like, you know what's going on. You know they're full of shit. You know they're not being genuine. You know they're not actually confident. It's all smoke and mirrors. They're not really that. That girl that you think is so pretty, bro, she ain't that. She ain't all that. Like, not even close. Like, if you knew who she really was, you'd probably be shocked. You'd probably be shocked. Me? Of course not. I'm telling you guys this myself. I have seen so many things. I have seen so many things, bro. And we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> I guess we'll get on to the next topic. We have.